Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we're going to see how to create magazine cover in Photoshop. Before getting started, you can download all the files used in this tutorial. Yes, project files. Link in the description. Download it, use it. If you got any doubt, let me know in the comment section. I'll help you. Fine, let's get started. First, we're going to create new canvas in Photoshop. I'll keep the size as standard US letter which is 8.5 by 11 inches resolution 300 color mode CMYK which is a standard mode for print and I'll create a canvas next we are going to create a layer go to color picker pick any color not, not going to be an issue and select a rectangle tool and create a rectangle which reads 79 by 1000 now the reason we created this rectangle is using this rectangle as a reference we are going to create guidelines okay now I'm going to enable free transform tool control T I'm gonna rotate it now using this rectangle as a reference I'm going to create horizontal lines okay so our border guidelines are ready now we can delete this shape next we are going to bring in our magazine cover image go to the folder you downloaded open the image one inside Photoshop now we are going to drag and drop it inside our canvas the image size is also US canvas size which is 8.5 by 11 so you don't need to adjust the size in case if you want to adjust the size enable free transform tool Control T and adjust the size to your likings here I'm not going to change anything I'll rename it as image so our magazine cover image is ready next we are going to create a new layer Go to color picker select white color now we are going to type our magazine title for that enable text tool the font I'm using here is Vogue I'll give the link in the description you can download it I'll keep the font size as 150 Using the guidelines as reference, I'm going to place it at the top. Okay. Next, we need to hide those overlapping text spots. For that, we're going to use masking technique. Now, select the fashion text layer. Now, click the masking button. Now, go to color picker, select black color. Now enable brush tool, select hard round brush, next zoom in. Now we are going to have reduce the text opacity, I'll bring the text opacity down to 50%. Now I'm going to hide those overlapping text parts by brushing black color. Well, using this masking technique, if you make any mix, mistake, like if you brush some parts you really want, don't want to hide means no problem. You can go to color picker, select white color, and brush it again to get those spots again. Now, using the same technique, I'm going to hide all those overlapping text parts. Once we are done with the masking technique, you can increase the opacity to 100%. Now our title is ready. So next we are going to create our text content, which is nothing but our magazine article titles. So let's, let's start by creating text content 
from right side i'm going to create a layer select white color i'm going to choose font bbus it's a free font you can download it i'll give the link in the description I'll keep the size as 76. By using keyboard shortcut Ctrl J, I'm going to create duplicate copy of the text layer. For this one, I'm going to change the text style. I'll reduce the size down to 55. So fine, our first text content is ready. Next, next we are going to add a text in at the right bottom. Okay. <clears throat> okay, next I'm going to create a duplicate copy, Control J. I'll reduce the size as 30, font style as black. Now using those guidelines as a reference, I'm going to increase the size of the font, enabling Free transform tool control T. I'm gonna adjust the size. Okay, so I'm going to create another duplicate copy. So our right side text content is ready. Now we are going to move to the left side. We are going to repeat the same process. Create a layer. Go to color picker. Select white color. Choose the font you want. I'm going to go with letter. I'll keep it as medium. I'll keep the size as 38 here. And I'm going to repeat the very same step. Control J to duplicate the layer, text layer. By using arrow key, you adjust the spacings between the text. I'm going to change the font style here. Okay. 
so now we are going to create another article title okay next we are going to create two lines as a divider for that create a layer go to color picker select red color select rectangle tool and create a small line like so now i'm going to adjust text positions now i'm going to create a duplicate copy of that line Control J and bring it down below. Okay. So next we are going to add our barcode to our cover image. For that, go to the folder you downloaded. There you will find a barcode image. Open it inside Photoshop. Drag and drop it inside our canvas. Using guidelines as a reference, I'm going to place it at left and bottom. Okay, I'll name this as a barcode. Next, we are going to create another text content. Create a layer, select white color, enable text. Here, I'm going with Times New Roman. I'll keep the size as bold italic, size as 88. Now I'm going to reduce this text style by enabling free transform tool so that it will, it will get fitting inside those loud text. Okay, so we need to adjust this spacing a little bit. Okay. So magazine cover is almost ready. Now we are going to add three more texts at the bottom. So magazine cover is ready. So that's it guys, I hope this video is useful to you. If you like this video, hit the like button. For more Photoshop tutorials, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Take care.